you going to go just to the XP model? Or keep yeah, the, the, what we want to do is uh, spend some time showing you guys uh, how the Recon Scout uh, Throwbot works. Uh, we have uh, two different variants here uh, that we're going to go through. Uh, we're going to start with the one that is probably uh, the most deployed. Um, this is the Recon Scout XT. Um, there are about 2,200 of these in theater right now, uh, both uh, with regular Army, SOCOM units, and uh, the Marine Corps units. Um, it is a 1.2 pound throwable robotic system. It's designed to be thrown and basically thrown as hard as you can. It'll take repeated 30 foot drops on the concrete, uh, 120 foot lateral throws. It's designed to take 1600 G's of impact. Um, it has a camera here on the front, uh, an infrared illuminator right across the top. If it goes into a room that's too dark for the camera, it senses that with a sensor, it automatically turns that on. You don't have to do anything for that. Uh, this is the tail here. Uh, this is what it stabilizes off. This is the direction you kind of want to drive it. It all has a re reinforced ring in the tail uh, so you can connect a lanyard to it if you wanted to lower it down into a well or into a cave or if you wanted to throw it somewhere where you might not have to go, want to go try to retrieve it, uh, it allows you that uh, capability. The controller is a 1.8 pound uh, controller and it is, um, gives us a total system weight of three pounds. Uh, so we're, I think we're by far the lightest uh, robotic system uh, that's being used right now. So to employ the robot, you simply just pull the pin. You, uh, in this particular one, in order for it to have its water and dust resistance, you actually have to plug it up. And then you turn on the OCU. Now it's on right now, but this particular one is outfitted with a uh, dimming OCU. It was a requirement uh, that some of the SOCOM units uh, wanted, and basically what it does is it allows me to, instead of driving the robot, I can push on the, o the control button and then go up or down to brighten or dim the OCU. And they want it that way. At nighttime, you say, turn this thing on, it's too bright. Um, so this way, it turns on at about 5% brightness. You can, can't see it in the daylight at all. Uh, at nighttime, when it's really dark, you can just barely tell it's on. 